First, I want to show you a video that went viral today. Look at that. This is Imperial, Missouri, Whoa. where they had quite the ice event. You can see that fire truck spinning down the street, narrowly misses those two houses, goes right in between those two houses. A closer look looks like it might have bumped mm. the house, but just incredible video there from, again, that ice that fell throughout so much of the day. In fact, we'll show you radar right now and they're starting to warm up a little bit. Radar right now picking up on some light rain in the area, but this is a three hour loop. You can see that large swath of pink. That's again what got picked up as ice earlier today and we've seen some storm reports coming in from around the St. Louis area. Now Imperial is just off to the south of St. Louis, but those ice reports we got closer to St. Charles were about a tenth of an inch of ice and that's all it really takes to make for some really dangerous conditions. You can see a tenth of an inch. That's what's considered disruptive, but those roads, they can get so slick. It can be dangerous to drive and to walk. Whenever you start to see more ice accretion up to a quarter inch, that's when it gets really dangerous. That's whenever trees and power lines start to get weighed down and you can see those really widespread tree and power outage issues and about a half an inch of ice is all it takes to cause devastating tree and power outage damage and just quite the scene we saw there out of St. Louis. But get this, this is actually an encouragement to share that video uh, saying I encourage you to share the video of this incident with us, others as it provides a pivotal opportunity to highlight the daily challenges and hazards faced by firefighters, the inherent risks in adverse weather conditions and importance of being prepared. This was a statement released uh, by the fire chief there in Imperial. Now,